Hi guys, welcome back to AlgoTest. In this video, we're excited to bring you a new feature release known as the Range Breakout or commonly referred to as the Opening Range Breakout or just ORB. So this has been a highly requested feature from all of our users and of course, our users are the most important thing for us. Therefore, we've now implemented it on AlgoTest. So in this video, we're going to talk about what a Range Breakout is first then we're going to talk about the different permutations and combinations that you can use to backtest and live deploy. And then finally, we're going to close with some important points. So I've logged into my algo test account and I'm on the dashboard. I'm on the dashboard page. Okay. So first things first, what is a range breakout? So let's say, um, I want to take a range that is formed in the market from between two certain times, right? So let's say, between 920 and 945, I want to monitor the charts and I want to see, is there a range being formed? And if there is a range being formed, how do I trade it? Right? There's a few ways you can go about this. So when the high of the range is broken, you can buy a call or you can sell a put. When the low of the range is broken, you can sell a call or you can buy a put. And basically you can use either momentum or mean reversion or whatever else you can think of to trade the range. Right now, how do you do this on algo test? Let's, let's discuss that. So I'm going to click on add new over here on the left and we're back to our usual strategy builder page. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to enter our entry time as 920. And this is very important because this is where the range will start being checked from. Okay. So we're going to select bank nifty, obviously cash. Uh, everything else will remain the same. Let's just click on buy call and add a leg, right? This is again, very familiar to what you guys have been using so far, except now we have a new box titled range breakout. So we're going to check this and a pop-up appears. Now, please read this pop-up because it's going to be very useful for you um, in your understanding of the actual feature, but of course I'll go over it anyway. So our start time will be 920 as we input over here and our end time we can choose. So let's take 945 for now. That seems good enough. Uh, and we're going to enter on, you know, we can choose whether we want to enter on the high or the low. Here we're talking about buying a call. Logically, we'd want to enter when the high of the range is broken. If we're trying to trade momentum or follow the trend, the uptrend to be specific. So we're going to click high and here's the really cool thing you can do. You can trade this not just on the underlying, you can also trade this on the premium, right? In this example, we're going to take the underlying, check the underlying and click on. Okay. Okay. So now let's set a stop loss and we'll talk about the target as well. So up until now, you're all familiar with how our stop loss works. It's on the basis of points underlying points, percentage, underlying percentage. But now you can see right down here, there's a new feature called ORB range. So here you're setting your stop loss also based on the ORB. Okay. So now there's three different cases to this case. Number one is when you have just plus or minus, whatever doesn't matter with a zero, right? This means that, okay, I am buying a call when the range that is formed between 920 and 945 is broken on the upside. So when the high is broken, I'm buying a call. If I want my stop loss to be the low of that range, then I would put stop loss ORB range plus or minus doesn't matter and zero, right? In this case, the sign over here plus or minus doesn't matter. But of course we will learn it matters a lot going forward. Okay. So case number one, if I want my stop loss to be the low of the range, then we're going to have zero input over here, right? Simple enough. Now let's say I want to have a stop loss of, let's say if I put plus 10, what does this mean? So if my range was, let's say from 40,000 to 40,100 and I bought once 40,100 was uh, broken, that's when I bought my call option. My stop loss in this case will be not a hundred, but a hundred plus 10, meaning 40,000 
10 will be my stop loss and not 40,000, right? So if my range is of 100 points, now my stop loss is essentially 90 points. It's like saying that if my range is 100 points, I'm now putting a stop loss of 10 points less than my low of the range, right? So uh, let's say we entered at 40,100, right? And the market was at 40,920 and at 945, uh, the high that was made in this time was 40,100. Now, once 40,100 is breached, we would have bought a call and we put our stop loss as 40,010 because we've put plus 10 over here, right? Similarly, if we put minus 10 here, our stop loss will now not be 40,000 or 40,010. Our stop loss will be 40,000 minus 10. So 39,990, right? So simple enough, you just need to add the plus or the minus for your stop loss and you can choose whatever value you want. I have just used 10 as an example, right? So that was the stop loss. Now let's talk about the target profit, right? Again, we've got the same old features as before, but now let's talk about the ORB range based target profit. So once again, if you put plus or minus and a zero, this would mean that you want your stop loss to be whatever the range was. So for instance, if the range is of 100 points, my target would also be of 100 points. This happens when you click plus or minus and you have zero over here, right? So if my range was from 40,000 to 40,100, I entered the trade at 40,100 once it was breached. Now my target profit will be 40,200, right? Makes sense. Similarly, if we put plus 10 over here now, okay, let's, let's take plus 50 this time. So now my stop loss will be whatever the range was plus 50 points, right? That's what my target is going to be this time. So let's say if the range was from 40,000 to 40,100, my target profit now will be the range, which is of hundred points plus the 50 points that I've put in here. So my target profit is now 40,250 right? Because we entered at 40,100. Now plus range 100 points plus 50, which is what I've put here. That means my uh, target profit will be at 40,250. Right? Simple enough. Now, similarly, you can use minus and put 50 here. This will result in having the target as 50 points less than the range. So if the range is from 40,000 to 40,100, which is 100 points, my target profit will be 100 points minus 50, which is whatever I've put here. So my target will be 40,150, right? Makes sense. Now let's move on to buying a put. When would you want to buy a put? Obviously, when you want to follow the trend, if it's if we're in a downtrend, right? So let's uncheck range breakout. Let's uncheck target profit and build it all over again. Our entry time remains at 9.20, right? And we're going to check range breakout. Now this time, recall on the when we were buying a call, we'd selected high, right? Now we're going to select low because it only makes sense to buy a put if you expect the market to go down, right? And if we're defining a range and if you want to buy the low of the range, this means that we're trying to follow the momentum as the market is going down, right? So. We click low and we're going to do it on the underlying check. Okay. Now again, the exact same principles apply here, except it'll be opposite because now we're talking about put. So let's see what that means. Let's check stop loss and let's click ORB range. Okay. First case is when we have zero. So this means that again, plus or minus doesn't matter, right? This means that when zero is input here, it means that we will buy once we'll buy a put once our low is broken, right? Because we selected low over here. And after the low is broken, our stop loss will be the high of the range. If you put zero, if you input zero, that's what your stop loss will be, right? Now, let's say if I want to put plus 10. In this case, my stop loss will be whatever the range was of 100 points plus 10, right? So the high of the range plus 10 points. So let's say if my range is from 40,000 to 39,900, right? I bought my put once 39,900 was breached and, and my stop loss would be 40,000 
plus 10 points. Right? Makes sense. Similarly, if we select minus 10, this means our stop loss will be 39,990. Right? Because our range was, the high of the range was for uh, 40,000. Now we've selected minus 10. So this is my stop loss now. 39,990. By the way, this is also applicable to uh, in, as percent of range. So if you apply the same logic that we've put for points, you can also do it for percent of range. So if say my range is from 40,000 to 40,100, uh, right? If the range is of 100 points, so then if I choose plus 10, then my stop loss will be 10% of that range. Okay. We're going to check points again. Now let's talk about the target profit. We're going to select ORB range. Now, what does this mean? So once again, this is our initial case of plus or minus zero. In this case, my target profit will be whatever the range was. So let's say if my range was for 200 points this time, right? My target profit will be 200 points. So once the underlying moves 200 points in my favor, in this case moves 200 points down because we're buying a put, then my profit has been achieved. Target profit has been achieved. Okay. So here we can play around again. Plus, let's say we take plus, plus 30. So if the range was for 200 points, now my stop, my target profit will be 230 points. Okay. And if I put minus 30, my target profit in this case will be 170 points because the range minus whatever I've input here. Okay. Makes sense. It's the same logic as the call, except now the market is moving down. So little things are opposite. Okay. So that was two option buying cases. Now let's discuss two cases of option selling where we're going to sell a call and we're going to sell a put. Okay. So we're back to our strategy builder page and we're going to this time add a leg for selling a call. Okay. Now, when would you want to sell a call when you think the market is bearish, right? Because selling a call is when you expect the market to be bearish. So let's check range breakout. And again, we're going to keep the times the same. You can obviously change this to whatever time you like. Um, and let's say we have to enter on the low, right? And we're going to check underlying. This means that once the low of my range is broken, I want to sell a call, right? And the range will be formed between 9.20 a.m. and 9.45 a.m. Whatever the range is in that period, once the low is breached, I want to sell my call. Okay, let's click on OK. And let's check our stop loss, right? We're going to click on ORP range again. And OK, so recall from the previous section of this video, when we have plus or minus zero, this means that my stop loss will be the high of the range, right? Because this time we're entering on the low of the range. So my stop loss, when I've put in zero over here for, for ORB range stop loss is the high of the range. Okay. Similarly, if we put plus 10 points, this means my stop loss is the high of the range plus 10 points, right? And if I select minus, this means my stop loss is the high of the range minus 10 points. Okay. Moving on to the target profit, selecting ORB range. What does this mean? When we have plus or minus zero, my target profit is whatever the range was. Okay. So if the range was from 40,000 to 39,000, then in this case, that's a hundred point range. That hundred point range is also going to be my target. Okay. So my target profit is a hundred points when we have zero input here or whatever the range was. So now let's choose plus, let's say 20. Okay. Or let's just choose plus hundred. Now my target profit is whatever the range was plus a hundred points. Now this is where things get really interesting. So let's say you want to make a risk to reward based stop loss and target profit. Let's say I always want my risk to reward to be one is to two. Here's how you do it. So I will check stop loss ORB range as plus minus zero. Okay. And here 
I'll put my target profit as ORB range plus percent of range 100. This means that my target will always be double what my stop loss is, meaning risk to reward of 1 is to 2, right? Which is favorable for us. Now, you can obviously change this percentage if you want it to be 1 is to 3 or 1 is to 4, whatever you'd like to do, right? Now, now the key thing here is obviously to have your stop loss at 0 over here, the ORB range plus minus 0 so that your stop loss will be at the high, okay? Moving on to selling a put. When would you want to sell a put? You'd want to sell it at obviously the high of uh, whatever range you selected, right? So you're trying to follow the momentum. You wanted to uh, capture the trend, the uptrend, and uh, make a profit that way. So my range breakout timing will be again from 9.20 to 9.45. I'm not going to adjust that. What I'm going to change is from low to high now because we're selling a put. Click on OK. And let's talk about our stop loss again first. I put my stop loss as ORB range. When there's just a zero over here, this means that my stop loss will be the low of the range, right? And if I put plus 20 here, this means my stop loss will be the low of the range plus 20, okay? If I put minus here, this means my stop loss will be low of the range minus 20 right simple enough same thing with your target profit select orb range if i'm selecting zero and points this means that my target profit will be whatever the range was meaning if the range was of 100 points right let's say uh, market went from 40,000 to 40,100 in the time that I set from 9.20 to 9.45. Once 40,100 was breached, I sold my put and I want my target profit to be set as whatever the range was. So in this case, the range is of 100 points and so my target profit will also be 100 points. When I want profit target to be more, I will click on ORB range plus, let's say 50 points. So now my target profit is the range plus 50 points. Right. Similarly, if I want my target profit to be lesser than what my range was, I will select ORB range minus 50 points. So these were the four basic cases of the ORB strategies that you can implement. Now, one thing to note here is we haven't spoken about the re-entry feature yet. That's right. We also have a re-entry feature, which is a little different. So let's discuss that. Let's say I want to sell a put and my range is from 9.20 a.m. to 9.45 based on the underlying, right? So let's say I've set a target and stop loss, okay? Let's say I've set them both at zero. Let's say I want to re-enter once my target or my stop loss is hit, okay? So I'm gonna check re-entry on stop loss, re-entry on target. Now, what is this gonna do? Okay, so let's say my range was made between 9.20 a.m. to 9.45, which is what we've input, right? And let's say my trade was entered at 10 a.m., okay? And my target was hit at 10.30 a.m., okay? So if I've checked re-entry on target, now this will look for another range from 10.30 a.m. all the way to whatever this interval between your entry time and your range breakout time was. Okay, so in this example, we're taking 9.20 a.m. to 9.45 a.m., okay? So what is that? That is 25 minutes, right? 9.20 plus 25 minutes is 9.45. So if my trade was taken at 10 a.m. and my target was hit at 10.30, now for the next 25 minutes, it's gonna set a range. It's gonna find a new range. So basically from 9.30 to 9.55, a new range will be formed. And then once the high of that range is broken, we will have the same rules. We'll enter the trade and our stop loss will be whatever we've set over here, okay? The cool thing about this is that you can make multiple legs with multiple times. So for instance, if I make another leg here, and this time let's say I take a range between 9, uh, 9.20 and 9.30. So let's say if I say my for this leg, I want my range to be 9.20 to 10 a.m. So this time my range is of 40 minutes, right? And here, if I put my re-entry, it will again wait for 40 minutes before a new range is formed. This may seem confusing the first time you watch this video, but please rewind and keep watching as many times as you can 
so that you understand the basic functionality of the new feature and in this way you can develop your own complex strategies so one important thing you guys need to note is that you cannot use a range breakout and simple momentum both right if you try to do that you will get an error message popped up over here so you can't use them both at the same time which is logical of course so thanks for watching this video guys i hope you liked it i hope you're going to do a lot of back testing with this new feature and we certainly hope that you can build a lot more strategies and add to your existing basket of strategies and make even more money. See you next time.